Hi friends, welcome to my channel ABC Code. Hope you are doing well. Today I will discuss one of the very annoying problem that Python programmer has to face. Usually, to address a particular problem of our client, sometimes we used to develop an utility program in Python, then build an executable using PyInstaller and deliver that to our client. Okay? But the situation becomes worse when customer revert to us with a concern like their antivirus is raising virus threat for our executable. This is very annoying to hear that your client is saying that your program is a virus. So to avoid this type of situation, we need to take some actions, few precautions and gain confidence before you deliver the executable to your client. Okay. In this process, first of all, I will suggest you to check your executable in a website called Virus Total. Okay. So here I am explaining with this example. This is a program I have written for my client. Okay. Now I'll be creating an executable using PyInstaller as we generally do. Okay, my executable has been created. Now I'll be going to that path. Okay, and uh, check this executable using virus total website. Please note this website. Virustotal.com. Okay. There you can select your file you want to validate. This is my file and I will upload. This website uh, is actually check with different antivirus companies registry or their list of um, viruses they have and uh, give an output that uh, how many antivirus company is marking your executable as a virus so here we can see However, many of the antivirus company already marked my um, executable as a safe. Seven antivirus company has marked my executable as a virus. Their anti-avial, CNET, Macavi, GW edition, Gila. So this is a big list. Though many of the antivirus company has marked my executable as a safe one, like Kaspersky. Make up a normal edition and semantic. So here we can very much see that my executable is not a virus, but still it may be possible that uh, your client is using any of these seven antivirus. Then you are in trouble. Here we know that. Here we know that my executable is not a virus, but few antivirus companies marking it as a virus. This is called a false positive raised by those antivirus companies. As far as I know, there are two ways out from this problem. First of all, we can post our executable to the antivirus company's website 
or even we can email to them claiming that it is a false positive by their antivirus and request them to revalidate it and if it is safe one then please add these into their safe list okay and most of the time this process takes maximum a uh, few hours to a day okay then you need to update your antivirus local repository and it will be working fine i will be sharing the link of different antivirus company where you can post your executable uh, to claim it as a false positive and uh, request them to revalidate and there is another way the second way out is to compile the file installer bootloader at your system and then install it to your system however there are multiple activities uh, into that part so including that into this video will be too lengthy okay, so i'll be uploading another video as a second part of this discussion i hope it will be helpful to you please like share and subscribe my video it will motivate me to make more videos like this thank you